hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video we will discuss about uh, the difference between RPO and uh, RTO so these two terminology is very basics of disaster recovery solutions entire implementation of disaster recovery solution happens keeping these two points in mind so in coming slides we will discuss more about them and understand how to calculate rpo and rto before that don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for video notifications in futures first of all let's go the full form rpo is recovery point objective and rto is recovery time objective rpo is the total amount of data that a business can afford to lose so this will be more clear when we will see how to calculate rpo so by definition we can calculate the rpo by subtracting the point in time at which the backup or application is scheduled so in right hand side i have just made a very simple diagram suppose a backup or application happens at 12 am 12 15 am and 12 30 am so the backup solution can be anything it can be a snapshot backup it can be a tape backup or it can be a ndmb backup or any backup solution that you are you are implementing similarly the replication it can be asynchronous it can be a synchronous replication so at 12 am if you are taking a backup or initiating a replication and then if you are initiating the backup and replication at 12 15 so the difference between them is 15 minutes so in this scenario 15 minutes is the rpo now what does it mean is that any data that is getting created within this 15 minute and for some reason they are lost and the data cannot be recovered then it is acceptable for the business so for example 12 am a backup happens 12 10 the disaster recovery happens so it is obvious that uh, whatever data got created between 12 and 12 10 we cannot recover them because the replication or the backup happens at 12 15 am so that is the reason any data that is being created within these 15 minutes is acceptable to lose or even if you are not able to recover them by any means it is acceptable for business so that is the whole point of uh, rpo rpo is this one now if we'll see the rto rto is the total amount of time needed to make the business up and running since the disaster so for example you have a disaster the primary location is gone you will have to bring the business from the secondary location in that case whatever amount of time is taken to complete all the steps to perform to make the business up and running is called rto for example 12 am a disaster occurred and uh, after six hours of time you were able to make the business up and running so the difference between those time is six hours of rto so within this six hours many things can happen for example you may have to bring up the servers or the storage devices or the network devices in the secondary location you may have to restore the data or if the data is there then you may have to perform some steps so that the data is accessible by the servers or you may have to change many things from uh, a dns side or from application side restart services or stop services or many things so whatever steps you performed to bring up the server since disaster and whatever time is consumed by those steps is called RTO so here for example 6 hours is the RTO sometimes it may take 12 hours of RTO and uh, even there are setup for example if the data are very critical or the business is very critical then RTO can also be 5 minutes or 15 minutes by automation process so I'm not going into much scenario so the main purpose of this video was to give you an overview of uh, the RTO and uh, RPO so hope this uh, gets clear and uh, thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for new notifications of videos